guys, welcome to Arms Day. Uh, first off, I'd like to say thank you. We finally hit a thousand subscribers, and naturally I couldn't do that without at least a thousand of you, so thank you so much, and I'm excited to keep making uh, high quality content. Without further ado, let's get started. We have no Thessan FR4 with accelerated coils. Why do I love accelerated coils on this gun so much? I actually don't love it that much, but it is exactly the same as the other gun from Future War Cult. There's almost no reason to use this gun over that one, considering uh, the same roll will give you too much stability. So even though a braced frame roll might be tempting, accelerated coils is actually uh, the more unique, the better roll, um, since you can just pick up the hot swap braced frame rangefinder roll from Future War Cult with the right scope and everything. So always use your Thessin package on an accelerated coils roll. Next, the Kumak attack has a really great roll in uh, the, the first the first slot. We've got True Sight, IS, Luck in the Chamber, we've got Extended Mag and Injection Mold, and Outlaw. And as good as that is, we have almost the exact same roll in the third slot with Sure Shot IS, Luck in the Chamber, Single Point Sling, and Outlaw. No range boosting perk, but if you are a fan of this low impact uh, hand cannon type, uh, Sure Shot IS is the better scope here. Luck in the Chamber and Extended Mag don't work well together, but Single Point Sling is excellent on a hand cannon, and Outlaw uh, is going to take care of that low magazine size anyway. Luck in the Chamber means you only have to get one headshot and two body shots to get the kill. Uh, which is excellent. You've got, I think it's a 1 in 3 chance of that happening every time. Um, per, per kill. 1 in 3 chance of that happening per kill. And then you reload and you've got another 1 in 3 chance of that happening again. I feel like luck in the chamber is weighted towards the top though, so the third roll is actually very good. Um, there's no range perk is the only thing, but if you're not worried about it, then uh, pick up roll 3. Roll 2 is Firefly. That's nifty, but it's not great. Um, the increased range is nice, the true side IS is nice, but I would much rather have Outlaw and Luck in the Chamber than Grenadier and Firefly. Finally, Lead Me D has no counterbalance, no head seeker rolls, so there's no point in talking about it. Until next time. Let's move on to the Warlock with the Suros JLB 47, the Suros DIS 43, and the Suros DIS 47. While we're floating around in orbit, um, this is a good time to address the fact that this is not a live stream. Uh, that is done completely on purpose. Um, if you were with us this morning, then you know that the live stream got cut off at about the 7 minute uh, mark. That is not my fault, but... <laughs> But I'm going to try and take steps to make sure I can prevent it from happening again. It looks like it was a hardware issue with the PS4. So we're going to try and start streaming through a computer instead of just directly streaming through the PS4. Um, YouTube is having trouble processing the live stream. So instead of waiting for the, for the video to finish processing, which it looks like it may never do, um, and then fix it in post-production with the continued video, uh, I'm just making another one. Uh, we're going to cut our losses and have one good Arms Day video for August. Um, August 3rd. And not have to fuss around with trying to get the live stream to work or trying to use the footage we have. It's not able to process. You guys understand, I'm sure. And uh, as soon as we get a good way to stream through the computer, we won't have to worry about the PS4 crapping out on us anymore. Uh, it's the weirdest thing, because the gameplay was still working, the internet was still working, YouTube was still processing everything, it's just the PS4 was having trouble talking to YouTube. Anyway, the Soros JLB-47 has no grenades and horseshoes perk again. This is like the third month in a row we haven't seen a grenades and horseshoes perk. Uh, really getting annoyed at the JLB-47. The DIS-43 actually has a pretty good second roll with uh, single point sling, unflinching, perfect balance, and SPO-28, 
Perfect Balance and the SPO28 are awesome in this perk slot. Uh, if you saw my scout rifle video though, you know that I prefer high caliber rounds here, hidden hand here, and an increase to stability in this slot. Uh, and obviously that's not what this is. So if you do pick up the second roll on the DIS-43, you are uh, using a suboptimal version. Outlaw, high caliber rounds, and SPO, uh, I guess SPO-57 would be the one I use here. Um, looks pretty good but there's, you'd have to use snapshot, there's no plus stability perk. Um, so roll three is another op option, but uh, not optimal. Um, still, I think I'd go with roll three over roll two, just because I like outlaw better than unflinching, and I like high caliber rounds better than perfect balance for this gun. It's a mid-rate of fire archetype, so you should be able to recenter the reticle. Finally, the DIS-47 does not have a full auto roll, which is a pity, uh, but its first roll also has high caliber rounds at SPO 28, so um, this would almost be worth picking up. The problem is it does not have a plus stability perk. Again, we've got to have that plus stability perk of the DIS 47. This is a high rate of fire scout rifle. Uh, without a high stability perk, I don't know how we're going to land those headshots. You'd have to recenter the reticle every time, and as fast as this gun fires, especially without full auto, uh, I just would not pick up a DIS-47, tempting as it may be. Um, so long next time. Moving right along to the Kokaitis Arminius D and uh, PDX-45. Um, so far, we've got a decent roll. Uh, roll 3 for the Kumak attack and roll 3 for the DIS-43 um, are both okay, but no perfect rolls yet. Um, Spoiler alert! I'm not confident. I'm not confident about the uh, the next three rolls. <laughs> of course not. I've already seen them. <laughs> I can tell you right off the bat that the Arminius D, from what I remember, did not have a counterbalance roll, uh, and the Kokaitis did not have a good roll that also had hand laid stock. They were a couple really close, really tempting PVP rolls. But they all required you to have to recenter the reticle or wait a little bit longer, which waiting for the reticle to recenter would, would pick your time up to about one second. At that point, you might as well be using the DIS-43. So, um, very tempting offer from the, from the gunsmith, from Banshee, but not going to take it. The PDX-45 was the tricky one because all three rolls look like they should be good, and all three rolls are not good. Um... So if you don't want to watch the rest of the video and you just want to take my word for it, then by all means. But if you want to see the rolls, at least, let's go check them out. You've come to the right place. The Arminius D with no counterbalance. You gotta have some form of stability to even use this gun. And frankly, after it's time to kill one up to 0.87, there's almost no reason to use it anyway. Um, the PDX-45 is a full auto roll, which is nifty. It's got plus range, plus range and accuracy, and a decent SRO-41 scope. But I'll tell you what it doesn't have is any stability boosting perks. It almost doesn't need them because its stability is so high, but you want at least a little bit of stability on a pulse rifle, especially this pulse rifle. Not much, just a little bit. Um... We've got small bore, perfect balance, unflinching, and SPO 57. Um, perfect balance is great. Small bore is okay, but this is not a big enough range boost for us to really get away with using it. Look at that. That's not going to be nearly as big as, uh, as like, rifled barrel, you know? And then, finally, we've got reinforced barrel, which increases range and reduces stability. We can't use that. That's terrible. Uh, speed reload instead then, plus rangefinder, plus hammer forged, plus SPO 28. I just cannot justify this roll. Uh, honestly, my best roll, my favorite roll that I have is an SPO 28 with, I believe this is perfect balance, I believe this is rangefinder, and I believe this is re uh, not reinforced barrel, but rifled barrel, which decreases, I think it's magazine size. Uh, and that's just enough. Uh, range for me to feel comfortable using it because it's a pretty big boost. Uh, range finder, of course, brings it up even further. Per ability, I. 
really. Perfect balance gives me all the stability I need and SPO 28 is my favorite scope. So there, there you go. Um, and then finally the Kokaitis. Uh, the Kokaitis has a really good role here. Third eye with life support and the torch scope, but no stability increasing perk. You're killing me, Kokaitis. Stupid cactus gun. Uh, we've got one with Icarus and Zen moment, but it's not what you want. It's got hand lead stock, but it doesn't have the torch scope, you know? So it's like, is this, what is this gun trying to do? And then finally, there's the uh, Zen Moment life support perk with the torch scope and Feather Mag, which honestly, like, is pretty good. Zen Moment should mitigate the stability enough that you can get away with using it. Life support's a great perk, torch is what you want to be doing, and lightweight and feather mag are both pretty great. I mean, I don't know about reducing the magazine size, but you already had plenty, and reload's kind of bad, so like, why not, right? It's just a different way to play the gun, I guess. I just, I feel like hand laid stock is always going to be better than Zen Moment on this gun. Uh, you heard me say, really? That's because the clip just saved, and I'm going to have to stitch two clips together. Hooray! I thought I was going to be able to avoid that. Oh, whatever. Who cares? That's it for me. That's Arms Day. I'll see you next Wednesday. Hopefully we can live stream it next Wednesday. And of course, I'm working on a hand cannon video. It will be as good as the scout rifle video. If you haven't seen that, give it a watch. I think it, I think it was pretty good. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, happy 1000. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.